Hello, I'm Tracy Weinman, Chief Impact Officer at the Science-Based Targets Initiative, or SBTI. We are currently in the process. This is a really important development. We're in the process of revising our corporate net zero standard. And we have four main objectives for this revision. The first one is, of course, aligning with the latest scientific development and best practice. So since the original corporate net zero standard was released, there have been significant developments in climate science and best practice. And the work that we're doing now will align the new version of the standard as much as possible with this new research and new frameworks. Then secondly, we'll introduce continuous improvement and performance-based target renewal. This will enable increased accountability by helping companies show progress and achievement of their targets. And it will also give other stakeholders like investors and NGOs the tools they need to track this progress. Now, we know that addressing value chain emissions is one of the biggest barriers to setting science-based targets. So we're updating our value chain framework to make it easier for companies to set and implement scope three targets. Then lastly, we'll be improving the structure and interoperability of the standard. So we'll clarify the standards relationship to other science-based targets standards, so our entire portfolio of standards. We also aim to make the standards easier to use alongside other relevant frameworks, standards, and regulations, improving both target setting and implementation for companies. Now, to develop and implement all these revisions, we're following our standard operating procedures which are published on our website, so you can go walk through them, and which outline each step of the SBTI's robust standards development process, including multiple opportunities for diverse stakeholder engagement and feedback. The last thing I want to say is just a little word about next steps. In early 2025, so just in a couple of months' time, we'll publish the draft of our revised corporate net zero standard for public consultation. And all of you and everyone you know will have an opportunity to prov provide input. And we really need your feedback to inform the next version of our flagship standard.